Hello guys, how are you? Welcome to my channel. It's me, Evelia Sadulio, a uh, teacher and profession whose fashion is to do video tutorial. Today, I will teach you how to make a tar papel uh, using Microsoft Publisher in context format. I already have a tutorial on this before, uh, making tar papel using Microsoft Publisher 2016, only that uh, I focus on that video using only a photo or a picture. So this time, this is in context four. Okay, to start our tutorial, let us open Microsoft Publisher 2016. And then you click banners and then you select the template since we wanted to make a tar papel. We'll click this arrow downward then go to blank sizes and then select the size that you want. So for A2 this is a uh, 9 pages uh, short bin paper. And A3 has only 4. So if you wanted to use uh, 9 pages, you have more, more concepts or context to be put into. You can use A2. And if you only have very few, you can have A3. And then the rest, uh, more pages already. So let's say I will use A3. Then I will click Create. And then first thing to do is to design your page. I will be changing the margin of my of my project. So instead of having two centimeter, I wanted it to have uh, one cm only in order to fit more content. So until 1 cm okay then you can also change the template if you want to it's easy to for you to change the template if you want to but if you want it, it to be as is no need and then you can also change the style here so we have here belt in we have classic design it's up to you which one to use. So I have the aspect, so it's up to you. Then you can also set the the font that you want to use. It's up to you to choose which you think is the best for your project. Let's say this one. I want this one or this one. Okay. And then, uh, in making my title, I want it to be using the word art. So, I will click insert and then click word art. Then, I will be choosing which of this style I will use. Uh, let's say I wanted this one. And this is an Arial. You can also change the format or the style of the font if you want. And then I will now type the title of my visual aid. And then just click OK. If you wanted it bolder, just highlight and then. Then, since it is in the middle part, you can just click and move it on the top. Okay, there. You can also change the easily here the style as long as you are in this format easily change the 
color. And then you can also change the shape. So here we have your different shapes if you wanted to have different style of shape. Which one is you think is best? That one. Then It's up to you to, want to change them. Let us now insert our, our content. So what I will do is, if we will just click here in any portion, and then type something. You cannot type unless you will not insert a text box. So what you will do is just click insert and then through text box here and after clicking you will see this one the your cursor will look like that and then what you will do is in your, your uh, mouse you can just lift click and then drag down then you want to utilize all the pages just move it up to the last part and then you can now start your typing uh, typing job. And then make sure to adjust the to adjust the size so you can have here can adjust the size. If you want it, it to be larger in size up to let's say thirty six, and then uh, that's our from voting so let's start our typing okay, let us now type our content so we already set up the the size and uh, the font style so next is to type So this is just a sample, my dear viewers. You can uh, add some descriptions if you want to. Until you fill up the whole uh, visual aid or tarpapel. So after you type, next thing to do is, of course, to save your file. File save us. And you need to name your... Just click browse and name your project. Let's see. And then click save. So make sure you know the location of your save visual aid. Then it's now ready for printing. So what you will do is just click file and then print. So you, in printing, you can just move this down. I'll go back to and move this down because it's not good to look at. So just go back and then uh, click and drag down. Or you can click this one and enter. It's up to you. What do you want? Then save again. Then proceed to printing. So once you are done printing, uh, so the next thing to do is to paste all the four pages. And it's now ready for use. Thank you so much for watching, my dear viewers. Uh, if you have some comments, if you have some, uh, if you have some requests, you can uh, 
comment below and I will try to make some tutorial on whatever uh, things or tutorial you want me to teach you. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Do not forget to subscribe if you if you are new to this channel and see you on my next video.